Hello and welcome everyone to Women Speakers Association WSA TV. I'm Laura Rubenstein, digital media marketing strategist and host and producer of the show today. I'm also the author of Social Media Myths Busted, The Small Business Guide to Online Revenue. And I'm super excited about our show today. As you see on the screen, we're talking about how to go from fear and frustration to finding your fabulous life. And um, we have some experts who are ready to talk about it. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and let them get into it. And I'm gonna start right now about Lisa. Say hello. Hello, thanks, Laura. Hi, everyone, I'm Lisa Dad. I am a career and a lifestyle redesign consultant. And I'm up here in Canada, just two hours north of Toronto. And you can always find me at uh, lisadad.com, and it's uh, D A D D D for dad. Nice, thank you. So glad to have you here. And let's go over to Serena and say hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me, Laura. I am Dr. Serena Pelarolo. I'm calling from Ojai, California, and I am a midlife reinvention coach. I like to call myself a midlife midwife. <laughs> and <laughs> you can find right. me at sirenapelarolo.com. Thank you. And let's say hi to Lorna. Hi, everyone. And thanks so much, Laura, for having me on the show today. I am a women's empowerment specialist and a speaker, trainer, and coach. I'm coming to you live today from beautiful Largo, Florida. And you can find me at lornablake.com, just to keep it simple. Nice. Well, it's so great to have all of you here because I know you're all passionate about the subject of helping people to move from fear and frustration in their lives to more freedom and creating a fabulous life. And I want to hear what advice you have to give in terms of that. So Lisa, what, what would you say to people to help them do that? Yeah, thanks, Laura. You know, usually the very first thing we do with people is just get them thinking about the word fabulous. And I really want to know what is fabulous for you. You know, often we settle for things or we get into this comfortably numb space and we forget what brings us joy, what lights us up and what excites us the most. And so we get stuck sort of living someone else's version of what success is for us. And so that's the first step. Figure out what fabulous is for you so that you can redefine your own version of success. Nice. And what if you don't know what fabulous is? Mm, yeah, then you get to, uh, then I work with people to do all sorts of fun um, uncovering and discovering what that is. And my favorite way of doing that is getting people to play a little bit more. I have an expression I use often with people is that you can play your way to greatness. And so we start to find what that looks like for each person um, by really tapping into some of the, the themes and the clues from their life so far. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to tap into that. Well, you know, you just gave a well, you know, really huge hint that to get to fabulous and away from fear, you can add fun. <laughs> and we love the Fs today, don't we? So um, stick with that. And, and that's just such a great clue because we want to be able to have people make the next step without that fear. So really displacing fear with fun is a, an excellent tool. So I want to hear some more. And would you agree with that? I mean, Lisa? Tell yeah, de yeah, yes, definitely. I think we underestimate fun because <laughs> if you say, well, I have to do all my work first and then I can have fun and we stop, you know, believing that we can actually be doing them both simultaneously. Yeah. And Serena, I know you agree with that. So let's, yes. let's get your advice in on, well, okay. So people are in fear. Maybe they're going to add some fun. What are you, but I know you work from a, a slightly different perspective. How yeah. can they go from this place to fabulous? Well, uh, I, I really like what uh, Lisa said about gathering, I call it gathering the sparks of things that happened in their lives that were the time that they, they were shining. What I do mostly with midlife women who come to me disenchanted with their lives and confused is to really help them recover their power. They have given up their power to many of the messages they receive about aging. So I really ask them to unplug from those external messages and plug into their own truth and their own, what they really know about their worth and their power. 
And uh, that is the first step. But another thing that I do right away is as I use a holistic approach and I, um, I know that our bodies give, our, give, give us uh, signals of what is an imbalance in our lives, I usually start them with a cleanse so that they release not only physical toxins, but also many of those old beliefs that don't serve them anymore. So I go from recovering power to releasing, and that really helps them to move forward. Releasing things that are stuck is mm-hmm. like so huge. That's just amazing. Um, and I love that identifying the imbalance. And I think, Lorna, where you come in a lot, I know you've talked about fear and that's an imbalance. So what can women do to um, move from fear or that frustration to fabulous and freedom? Such a great question, Laura. And I, um, as I heard um, Serena talking about recovering their sense of power. I come from that place when I work with women. Um, we do have need to recover a sense of power. And we recover a sense of power when we root ourselves in faith and love. Mm-hmm. It's so easy, really, living the world that we live in to live programmed in fear, right? We come into the world and we, early on, we're starting to fear and we have so much going on in terms of mass media or what have you. And through institutions, right, across society that teach us how to fear, Mm -hmm. but they very often don't teach us how to love. And so we're able to recover our sense of power when we begin to draw into our truth. What is our truth? And, you know, Lisa talked about fun and play, getting out into nature and connecting. There's all kinds of different ways, but the idea is that when we are rooted in faith and love and in our truth, then we can create abundance and prosperity and possibilities and opportunities and all the things that we desire to have in our lives. Yes, yes, and yes. And we have yet another F word is the faith and putting in their love. So keeping the faith, you know, taking to putting this all together, you know, yeah. knowing your inner truth. I think all three of you are grounded in that. It's like you have to know what defines your fabulous. What is your personal truth? Um, identify your balance, you know, where you're out of balance and are you have are you frustrated or in fear somewhere? And then how can you break that up physically with a cleanse, um, also getting out into nature and having fun, and then having that faith Mm -hmm. to to go forward and the vision so from which to come. And um, there's just, I I feel like there's where we could be at a retreat together and and all of you could be coaching people on each area here so powerfully. It's like a mini virtual retreat we've got going. And um, if you're watching, by the way, please feel free to say hi and let us know if there's anything that you're being run by, like, is there any fear you want to overcome? We'll, we'll come back and circle back and tell you who can help you with that and or how you've overcome. Have you used fun in your life? Mm-hmm. So this is fabulous. All right, let's get to know each of you because I know you work with people so powerfully. So tell us what you do, what you're passionate about, you know, who you work with and what you're passionate about doing for them, Lisa. Sure, thanks, Laura. I work with women that are in major career transformation or really looking to take their careers to the next level. And as I mentioned, I do, I work with them to find more fun and fabulous in their work and and their play. Often it is also their lifestyles are changing at the same time as their career. So um, we work to figure out what that looks like. What does that fabulous look like for them and how can they take the steps to start embracing who they are again? Great. And do you have a story around how you came to this? (laughs) I do. How I came to this was I had to find my own fabulousness again. I was in the corporate world for 15 years and I really was missing. I was looking for more purpose and more meaning, but at the bottom of it, I was just looking for more fun. Felt like my life, I spent so much of my time at work that it should feel more fun and I should feel more connected and engaged with it. So um, as I went out on my own journey, I started finding so many other people, so many women who were what I call comfortably numb, you know, and, you know, life is okay. Life is pretty good. 
And we almost all felt guilty because there's, you know, the big message around gratitude, you know, gratitude is very powerful. And I believe that. And it can also at the same time make one feel at the time for me, it made me feel like I should be more grateful for what I already had. And it really, I really needed to step into owning the fact that it was okay to want more that I want mm. that when mm. I am feeling more fabulous, i actually serve the world in a bigger way. And so needing to tap back into that joy and that spark so that I could also um, be using it to serve others. Great. And do you have a story about how you help someone do just that? Yeah. Yeah. I've got some, uh, sort of fun, you know, and really talk, you know, playing off of what Lorna was saying with getting past uh, your fears so that you could have some faith. One of the women I was working with is looking to start her own business. And she was, she came to me looking for clarity. And what we discovered was she has a lot of clarity. It's just hidden underneath a lot of fear. And mm -hmm. so I brought in the fun element. And instead of working with her on the basis of that you might with a marketing plan where you're like, who are you serving and what are their names? I had her tap back into some fun from her childhood. She used to be a cheerleader and she talked about how much fun she used to have making up cheers and dancing around. And so I asked her, I said, well, I want you to make me a cheer. I want you to make a cheer that speaks to the women that you can help that after the cheer, they'd understand exactly how you can help them specifically. And I was just expecting a short couple lines. And she came back with this absolutely, like I'm getting chills remembering it because I'm reading this and I thought, wow, like so powerful. And, you know, for a woman who says she's not clear, this, this cheer in and of itself said so much. And I was so excited for the women that she's going to be serving um, that it was just really allowing her the fun allowed her to get past those fears so she could start to have that faith in what she does and what she knows deep in her heart. Lisa's the fabulous fun coach. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Great. All right. Let's hear from Serena. Serena, tell us about um, who you work with. I know you said a little bit about it, but what are you passionate about doing for these women? Yes, I work mostly with successful midlife women mainly Latina women. I have a, bi a bilingual practice. And uh, these women come to me when they are confused or disenchanted in their lives and they're having some physical and emotional uh, issues. So I take a holistic approach to support them move through these transition in, in an empowered and natural way. I know that many times midlife women are very medicated and targeted by of the medical industrial complex. So I try to find alternatives to that. And I take very, I take very seriously the Dalai Lama's uh, quote that it is Western women that are going to change the world. I am passionate to support these women to really feel good with themselves so they are ready to serve the midwifing of a new way of living on this planet. My intention, my mission is to create a movement of wise women on fire who are really going to dedicate their, their the second half of their lives to do just that, to really uh, create a love and cooperative way of, of being with each other and creative and pleasurable and fun way. I love that. I love the wise women on fire concept. <laughs> Because, you know, the more we step into that, the more we can change the world for the better. And I love that you're about that. So tell us about someone you worked with who um, who you helped become a wise woman of fire. Yes. Well, I work mostly with Latinas, as I said. I'm thinking about this woman who came to me. She was a little depressed. She was overweight. She was a top distributor in a multi-level marketing company. And um, her sales had plummeted. Her downline was very, wasn't working too much. And she knew that she needed to change herself in order to change uh, her business and her organization. So we worked together uh, for three months and she had incredible results. She started exercising. Um, she started opening up her heart and, and relating to her organization in a very different way that started responding and her sales started to to increase and then 
when we finished the three months, she signed up for the six month program. And then she did an incredible turn around in her business. Uh, she's one of the three top uh, sales um, distributors in her region. She has gained incredible awards from the company. And she hired me to work on masterminds with her organization. So I'm really passionate about working with women like that who have a vision for not only for themselves, but for the people that they work with and they serve. And um, I'm, so I think it's a very exciting result in, in this particular case. Yeah, that is exciting. And you know, what, I'm, what I know about each of you, and Serena, you're pointing to this, is we love to help people who have passions to better the world, mm -hmm. to impact others. And the small businesswoman is the the force to do the, to create that positive change in individual people's lives and really, you know, change, create that shift in the world. So Lorna, let's talk about you and the positive impacts you're making for women and how you do that. Who, who do you work with and what do you do? Great question, Laura. Uh, I help women entrepreneurs primarily to increase their influence, their impact and their income. And I, um, it's an interesting way to work because I'll tell you that when I started out several years back, I was working with women primarily in the area of self-esteem and self-confidence and their relationships. And what I kept bumping up against was that uh, they would start out doing it and then they would drop out. So it didn't quite pan out. And so I started asking questions like, why is that? And the big answer that would come up again and again was that they didn't have the money. And so I thought, okay, I really, really need to do this prosperity training. So I got certified to do prosperity training, prosperity and abundance coaching with, um, with clients. And I started to get really, really great results. And when I listened to, you know, where I've been coming from over the years, and I heard Serena speak to it, um, I really am passionate about helping women to transform the world. And I thought it was going to happen through them becoming more self-aware self and self-confident. But I think the root really is helping them to develop their awareness that they're already abundant and to gain that level of prosperity to be able to change the world. And I know you also talk about in your work assertiveness, and I know there's a lot of fear. Do you have any like stories about how you help people gain that assertiveness to help them do what they, um, they can, the best of their? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the women who came to me, she actually lived in a first world nation, and um, she was very, very, she was a health coach, who wanted to go to a third world country really to work and to start over and was very doubtful that this would actually was even possible for her to, to do. But I was very sure that we could do it. And so I really took her through a series of steps to help her recognize the importance of being more confident and to be able to put herself out there. So on top of the prosperity training, we did that. And what she said was after she had implemented what we discussed and the strategies and you know, processes, she was able to implement and create income in the form of $10,000 over two months. She developed a lot of great partnerships in the in her new country and she started to love and immensely have a sense of appreciation for what she was able to create and she just kept creating all kinds of good things in her life which i thought was just amazing and a great amazing testament of what's possible when we put ourselves in that space yeah and what i'm getting that from you lorna and what uh, others are doing in uh, what each of you are doing really is about you know, giving people the awareness that they can do this, okay? And there a few tools, but their visions matter. They've been gifted some very specific skills and talents, and with enough support, it can happen. And that is the key. And I think each one of you would agree that getting support makes a difference, <laughs> right? Yes. We don't have to do this alone, people. 
And that's really why we're here as Women Speakers Association to lift everyone up and let you know we're, we got your back. We're here behind you 110% just like each and each one and this is why we do WSA TV let you know you got resources in our organization right here right now each one of our experts are premier members at Women Speakers Association available for you but speaking of Women Speakers Association I'd like to ask each of you what do you love about it or why did you join so Lisa why don't you share Sure. Um, I love the Women's Speakers Association because of the fabulous group of women that you meet. I mean, today's a perfect example of this conversation would never have happened. I would never have met um, the three of you that way. And um, specifically, I'm about to take off to a Europe in a couple of weeks, and I was able to meet a woman from the Netherlands who I've connected with and I'm going to be meeting live there. So just love meeting the fabulous network of women and the fact that we are all, uh, you know, working on empowering other women and ha everyone has such a beautiful powerful message and it's 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 empowering just even being around these women amen sister <laughs> <laughs> i love that you um are connecting with people around the world through women speakers association is definitely one of the benefits serena how about you what do you love about women speakers association well exactly the same that lorna said i think that this is an amazingly active organization of powerful women and I love the generosity of WSA. There's so much to learn and so many different resources. I'm always in awe. And I also have met really incredible women, women with whom I have collaborated many times. And um, I really encourage people to pay attention because this is, this is an organization that's helping in this empowerment of women to move forward. Thank you everyone who's liking and loving the video here today in the interview. I see you. If you have comments and want to say where you're tuning in to, please put that on the Facebook page on our video. We love to um, interact with you there. And okay, so Lorna, tell us once again, what do you love about Women Speakers Association or why did you join? Such a great question, Laura. You ask amazing questions. <laughs> I am here because I had the opportunity to speak to Gail. And when I spoke to her, I felt so incredibly affirmed. She was incredibly generous with sharing of resources. She pointed out to me what she thought my strengths were, what I had to offer the world. And I love that WSA is by women, for women, and it's about empowering women and transformation in the world. And that just ties in so beautifully with who I am and what I'm about in the world. I had absolutely no hesitation but to join. And we love that you did. And so if you're interested in joining Women Speakers Association, uh, we, or just you know, cheering us on here, you're welcome to do so, but we have a free level of membership available for you at joinwsa.com. You may be seeing this behind me here, joinwsa.com. Not only that, we're gonna give you the speaker success plan and we'll get you on a call with Gail as well and get your um, membership grow going. And if you, you know, want more visibility, that's our next level, the premier membership. So we have all kinds of resources and tools, community for you. And like Lorna said, collaboration is key. And uh, Serena said, you've got, had a lot of collaboration. So um, if you're looking for collaboration, you're looking for community and you're looking for visibility and you wanna get seen, booked and paid with your speaking, um, but it's a no brainer, join us. <laughs> But in the meantime, feel free to watch all of our WSA TV shows. We have experts giving advice um, at WSATV.com. And we will be back with you next week for another edition of our show with some more experts. I look forward to um, seeing you then. So bye for now, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. 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 bye.